sitting at dinner on a Monday night after feeling really good, getting exercise over the weekend, going to my aerobics class on Monday at noon time, and all of a sudden I felt like someone had stabbed me in the back. And I felt like the knife was going in and out, and if I just made one small body movement, I'd get stabbed again. What happened was I was under a lot of uh, pressure and pain. I was having excruciating pain in the shoulder blades, um, in the neck area, headaches. Um, by the time I was driving home, I'd be in tears. I would wake up in the morning with neck pain. I would go to bed with neck pain. I would, I would grab my neck in the middle of the day and start tugging on my neck. I would say to my friends, can you rub my neck, please, please, I'm in such pain. I went to the doctor and he recommended a spine stabilization program. And I went to physical therapy on the University Park campus. Hi, I'm Donna Golar, and I work in the physical therapy department. Hi, my name is Andy McDonald. I'm a physical therapist at the University Park Health Center. Hi, my name is Jackie Dilla. I'm the director of physical therapy at the University Park Health Center, and I'm here to tell you something about your back. Your spine has three curves, one that goes in, one that goes out, and another one that goes in. The upper one is called the cervical lordosis, thoracic kyphosis, and the lumbar lordosis. And your back is actually 10 times stronger with these curves in it than without. So the goal with all motion is to maintain each one of these curves as much as possible. I thought that uh, there was a big medical problem. I thought that maybe they could give me a prescription that would stop the pain. Maybe there was um, uh, something swollen. They could give me some anti-inflammatories and that would help recuperate. Uh, I didn't think they were going to send me to physical therapy. Well, I expected what I've experienced in the past, which is a nice uh, massage, a little heat treatment, um, a few stretches, and then I figured I'd be on my way. But it wasn't like that. Um, the physical therapy department put me through like this workout, and I was sweating, and I was completely exhausted. Um, and I learned more about my back and habits and maintaining good spinal health um, instead of just feeling good for a few days and then being on my way. The number one causes of neck and shoulder pain and low back pain are poor posture and poor body mechanics with repetitive motion. Let's check your sitting position. Does this currently resemble you? If it does, let's make some changes. First, I want you to come away from the back of your chair. Good. Now, come up tall in your low back. Let those shoulders drop down and back and pull your stomach in as tight as you can. See how this position maintains the normal curves in your low back? Hold that, lean forward, and scoot back in your chair. Good. I finally went to see the doctor, and I was hoping he was going to give me a pill and it would, everything would be better, but it was years of really bad working habits, um, sitting at the desk incorrectly, working at the computer incorrectly, and it all started to accumulate, and um, it was becoming really difficult to work by the end of the day, I was in a lot of pain. Now, let's take a few minutes and evaluate your workstation setup. First, let's take a look at your sitting posture. We need to make some adjustments. I would like you to come up tall through the low back. Remember, shoulders down and back. And most importantly, stomach in. If you need some support throughout the day to maintain this posture, go ahead and take a towel roll and place it in your low back area in order to give yourself some support throughout the day. I'd like you to look at your chair height. I want the adjustment such that your hips and your knees are equal in height or your knees are slightly lower than your hips. If your knees are higher than your hips, it is very difficult for you ma to maintain this upright posture. Next, arm position. Your elbows should come at a 90 degree angle and be close into your body such that you need to adjust your chair or your keyboard to achieve this position. 
your mouse. If you're reaching out for your mouse, you're going to increase the activation in this muscle that may be causing you some neck pain. I want you to bring your mouse in close, such that again, your elbow is snug into your body. Now, when you need to reach for that all-important document, I do not recommend this. Instead, I'd like you to turn, face your target, square your hips up, reach forward to your motion, and pull. If you need to reach something that's away from you, such as the phone, a piece of paper, a pen, I want you to, again, remember, stay up tall through the low back and move forward. Do not bend from the spine. Instead, stay up tall and reach. Keep that stomach tight. The most important part is the monitor. I want you to make sure that your eyes are not looking down or up. When you focus on the center of the screen, make sure that your eyes are in the middle of your screen. I've made some changes in my work area. Instead of having my computer way far out and me reaching for it, I brought it in closer to me and kept my elbows in um, at my sides. I've elevated my chair so that my arm makes a 90 degree angle. And I've really tried to focus on my posture while I'm um, typing so that my back's carrying the weight, not my neck and my shoulders. Another common cause of low back pain is repetitive lifting using improper techniques. Improper techniques can include not bending the knees, rounding the low back, lifting with the arms, and twisting the body when placing the item on the surface. Correct technique includes getting close to the object, bending the knees, maintaining the low back curve, lifting with the legs, and turning the hips to face the surface on which the object is going to be placed. Use these correct lifting techniques for everything. Lifting your backpack, laundry, groceries, books. Remember, it's not the weight that's going to injure your back. It's the motion. Every day and everywhere on campus, we see students, faculty, and staff demonstrating poor postural awareness. Let me show you how to adjust your backpack. A common mistake is the backpack is often worn up close, high on the neck and shoulders, causing additional strain in the neck, shoulder region, and low back area. The proper positioning is one such that the backpack is lowered down towards the waist. It allows the individual to stand more upright. There is a reduced strain on the neck and shoulders, and the lowering and the weight in the backpack will then cause the activation of the abdominal muscles. I've changed my backpack a lot by um, really not carrying too many things in it. Before, I used to just jam everything I could into my backpack, and it would probably weigh about 15 pounds. Now it's a lot lighter than it was before. A common mistake often made when carrying a briefcase or a purse is that either the purse or briefcase is worn on one shoulder. The shoulder is then elevated up toward the ear in order to support the weight of the briefcase or purse, making the shoulder height unlevel and a lot of tension in the neck and shoulder region. A solution to the single strap purse can be a double strap purse. Worn on both shoulders, the shoulders are free to relax down, they're equal in height, and she's ready to move about with her arms free. Both the portable office and the double strap purse are solutions that can assist in reducing neck, shoulder, and low back pain. A friend of mine that has problems with her back, and I was talking to her the other day, and she has a prescription for physical therapy, and she said, you know, where should I go? And I said, well, Go talk to Jackie. Her methods are a lot different than any other physical therapist that I've worked with, but they're the most effective. They saw how I was moving, they saw my posture, um, and then they developed a plan in how to get me back into shape and uh, pain-free. Hi, Steve. My name is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for you? seeing me. No problem. What brings you in today? Well, I have a little back pain. Okay. Like usual. Back pain, do you have any other problems that you're here for? Well, neck and back. Yeah, both neck and back pain. Okay. Yeah. All right. First visit, uh, Jackie basically sat me down and pulled out um, an example of a spine and showed me all kinds of things that can happen when you have bad habits. If you sit in a really slouched position, you stretch out the ligaments and you stretch out the muscles, and sooner or later you'll get symptoms related to disc. So why is it more comfortable when we slouch? Because it's inactive. Your body's completely inactive. There's no muscle requirement whatsoever. It's those little micro traumas over time of a poor posture, year after year after year, that create the symptoms that you know.